drawn marble number three winks. She moves in the United States for Damien Oliver goes up. Sense of occasion to join them. Harlem and singing are the last two. We've been told that singing will go back after the start. We'll see where the early speed is. Our singing goes up. And they're all set now. This is it. The grand final of Australian racing. The Queen Elizabeth Stakes racing. And Winks jumped as well as anything. Hartnell jumped well off the inside, but no doubt's pushing on from the outside. Happy Clapper's going forward as well, so it's no doubt. And Hartnell in the early stages, and Happy Clapper goes into third. The United States improving. Winks jumped well, but Bowman happy to let her drift back now on the outside of Exus Ferry. A length for the back to sense of occasion. Then Harlem and singing's been taken back to last. It's no doubt in front, but Hartnell's punching through on the inside, three quarters away. The United States up on the outside. Happy Clapper just being eased out of that battle back into fourth. Three lengths further back to the mighty Mayor Winks. She sits on the outside of Exus Ferry. Then sense of occasion from Harlan and singing is the last one. So no doubt the real roughy of the field leads from the United States in the money last year. And it's found its position in second. Hartnell third a length off to Happy Clapper. Two further back to Winks just shading Exus Ferry. Then sense of occasion from Harlem and singing is the last one. They're running along at even splits. A thousand metres out, no doubt in front. By length and a half to the United States. Hartnell a lot closer in the run today. Looks as though Doyle's coming off the fence on Hartnell. He is. He's put the United States three deep. So there'll be no hard luck stories for Hartnell today. Then Happy Clapper. Winks is out three wide. She's starting to inch a little bit closer. On the outside of Exus Ferry. Then Sense of Occasion singing. And Harlem's back last. No doubt in front. Hartnell, he's having his seventh clash with the great mayor today and Doyle's the first to make the move on Hartnell. Gets a length in front of the United States but here she comes around the field of Winks. Bowman hasn't moved a muscle. Doyle has on Hartnell. Here she comes Winks. Moves up on the outside of Hartnell. Then the United States and Happy Clapper but away she goes now Winks in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. She's put two lengths on Hartnell. Then Exus Ferry. Sense of occasion. She's racing royalty this mare. There's 17 in a row. The grandstand shaking. She wins it by about four and a half to Hartnell. Sense of occasion third. The United States fourth. Followed then by Happy Clapper. Good margin back to the other quartet. Exospheric, no doubt. Harlem and singing's last in. She's done it again. As expected. She is Australian racing royalty. The greatest mare in the world. She's given them yet another toweling. The first horse to win the George Ryder QE double since the great Lonro back in 2003. Providing Chris Waller with his third win in the Queen Elizabeth. How good was that yet again? The margin will stand by for the official. I know there's been a lot of different betting on how far she would win by today. I can tell you the time is 27.22 under the soft seven conditions. Official placings are 9, 1, 5 and 4. Winks from Hartnell. Sense of occasion. The United States in fourth position. Yeah, she had Hartnell covered again, turning for home. Doyle did his best to try and put Hartnell in a spot where he could make it competitive today. But she's blown them all away yet again. We'll hear from Hugh Bowman in a moment. 9154 after the Queen Elizabeth.